hello beautiful people so welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing you how to make a trending zara cap with ruffles this is another way of making ruffles which you can use as an embellishment for your zara cap or for your turban or wherever headwear you want to use it for i have made my zara cap for my fabric so for this project you need just about a yard of fabric and you can use any fabric of choice so for mine, I'm using this fabric, I'm using the stretchy taffeta, you can use any fabric of choice, be it stretchy or not stretchy. So I have uh, a tutorial that shows how to make hair zara cap, you can check that on my channel if you don't know that yet. So my hair cap is made already and um, this is what I have. So now I'm going to add on to the piece of fabric which I'm going to be using for the, for the design, okay. So I have a piece of fabric and from one end this way, this measures 60 inches. It measures 60 inches this way, okay? And the width, you know, the length of the fabric is 60 inches. So I left the 60 inches flat. So the width is 15 inches. I have 15 inches width while the length is... 60 inches. I have 60 inches as a length. So this is the right side of the fabric facing up. I'm going to fold in half this way and I'm going to stitch from one end like this down to the other end. Okay. After which I'm going to turn it inside out. So I've stitched from one end to the other end and I'm going to turn the right side of the fabric out. Give this a good press. I will iron it out and then we proceed. So I've turned it inside out and I've ironed it out. As you can see, I didn't make it too flat. Okay, so I have the stitch part facing down right now. And I'm going to mark from here. I'll mark three inches. That's from the edge of the fabric to the center. I do three inches from the other side of the fabric I do three inches as well so in between I have about one inch so I'm going to do the markings like that from here all the way down all the way down and even connect the lines if I want to okay so as you can see from this end to this center is three inches from this other end to the center here is three inches and i have about one inch not up to one inch um distance in between the lines so i've done that all the way down i did that all the way down and i've connected the lines as you can see okay so this is what we're going to be doing i'm going to mark from this edge here i'm going to measure about four inches and mark I measure about four inches and mark from here to here is four inches i come to this other side and i'm going to do the same i'll mark four inches from here to here is four inches and from here to here is four inches okay so i have crinoline the small crinoline the width is about three inches okay the width is about three inches so and then um, the length this is about four yards okay so i'm going to be fixing the crinoline on these two sides remember we mark three inches here and three inches here is for us to have a casing for our crinoline so i'll run crinoline from here like this all the way down i'll do so from here and now this mark that i have here this four inches mark is the starting point is where the crinoline will be starting from all right and this one we have at this other end is where the crinoline will be ending it's where the crinoline will be ending so i'll take this to my sewing machine now before i proceed to inside my crinoline i'll stitch from one end from here like this on the lines all the way down i stitch on the second line like this all the way down 
all right so i've stitched on the lines as you can see from one end to the other end so what you will do is you make sure that the crinoline you want to use um the width is the same as this casing you've created here all right it should be the same as the casing you want to create so for me i have about three inches so i have about three inches there. it's not really up to three inches for my crinoline so i had to correct that on my fabric as well so that it will work well for me so now i'm going to be putting my crinoline inside crinoline inside here all the way down and inside this other side all the way down but my crinoline will be starting from this four inches mark that i put here and it will end on the four inches mark that we have on this other side so i'm going to start now by inserting my crinoline i'll fold my crinoline in like this and fold this way and i'll be using my tweezer to make it faster okay whichever way you feel you can do yours please go ahead and do so so i'll just go ahead and insert like that all the way down So I've inserted my crinoline, I'll just spread it well. So when I get here, I just go ahead and cut this off because the tweezer just cut this off because automatically the tweezer damages this part so i don't need it so i'll just cut it off and now push the crinoline down push it back inside onto where i have the four inches mark so i'll just go ahead and uh, use my pin to hold in that right there so that it doesn't move away while i do the second side Okay, so I come to this side, straightening up like this, and I'm going to use my clean to hold it down right here while I cut off the excess. Remember that I said your crinoline should start on the four inches line and end on the four inches line on the other side. Okay. So I'm going to do the same on this other side. I will insert my crinoline and then we'll come back to continue with the next step. I've inserted the crinoline inside. You will notice that I made some stitches on this part. I discovered that the crinoline is a little bit smaller than my casing. So I had to just do a stitch on it a little bit away from the edge so as to hold it really tight. Okay. Your crinoline must actually move to this side of the fabric all right so now what we'll do is this we'll go ahead and fold in this edge like this and stitch i'll do the same on this other side i fold in the edge and i stitch okay so i've i folded in the edges here and stitch i did the same on the other end so now this is what we're going to be doing we're going to form kissing pleats on the center of this i mean on this fabric so we just fold like this starting from the four inch mark so just watch how i'm going to be forming pleats kissing pleats that's you pleat this way they come like this and pleat this way okay so i come this way and i form my pleat pin it down i do the same 
one face one place faces here the other place faces the other side okay and this faces this way why this will face here so that's just how i'm going to pleat it all the way there so i'll take it to my sewing machine and stitch on this center while i pleat so having done that this is what we have i have done the kissing pleat and i'm just going to take my needle and thread from this end to this other end to gather it up a little please make sure that your thread is doubled like three times i double this like twice okay so that it won't cut while working so i'll just run my stitches the center I'll just pull it together. Pull it together very well. Can you see? And that forms our ruffles. Just pull it together. And I'm going to just go ahead and tack. So I pull it together. Can you see? and attach it to my cap and you could have it at the back if you want to it could be at the back and it will really look so lovely and you could have it at the side okay so let's tack it at the side so how do you get the part you that'll be perfect for for it so from the back where we have the stitch at the back just measure about six to seven inches i have six inches here and i have marked okay so it's going to be staying on the left hand side. If you want it to be on the right hand side, mark six inches from here. But because this is going to be staying on the left hand side, I did six inches from there. And if you're measuring from this side, you are doing about 15 to 16 inches as well, depending on the head circumference. So I'll just place this this way, like this, and I'm going to go ahead and tack. Go ahead and tack, like we normally do. Just tack neatly. like this and i'll tap properly so having done that you can go ahead and embellish with accessories or wherever you want to embellish your heart with i hope you found this tutorial helpful please let me like comment and share this video with others and leave a comment below and let me know where you're watching this video from so I can give you a shout out in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.